Good Friday morning, everyone. I am Vicki Edmondson, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States. I hope you guys have had a good week, and we I look forward to coming on here every Friday with you. Um, if you do not have a demonstrator in the U.S. that you currently deal with, I would be happy to send you a catalog. Just list um, a comment in the comment section below this video, and I'll be happy to send you one. Today, I'm not going to make a card. I'm going to make a calendar. Um, a friend and I have a class this weekend that we're going to teach here at my home on Saturday and Sunday. And as their gift to them, we are giving them um, a calendar for next year. I make these every year for people on my team or for coworkers or whatever. And uh, I just want to show you today how to make them. This one that I'm going to show you today is a little bit different, but I'm going to show you all the other ones that we've made for the class for this weekend at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to be using my um, Stampin' Blend markers, uh, Real Red Dark and Light, Granny Apple Dark and Light, and Soft Suede Dark and Light. We'll be using those to color in this basket and I'm going to use the apple stamp in this particular stamp set, the apple and the basket. And then I'm going to use the stitched rectangle die, this one. And in this apple basket or cheerful basket, um, the full basket dies, I'm going to use the one to cut out the basket and the one to cut out the apples. And then I'm going to be using this um, split card texture die. Love that die. Going to be using those items today. Okay, so to begin with, you're going to need a piece of Granny Apple Green. The card base or the calendar base measures 11 by 4 and a quarter and scored at five and a half this time. This is like a portrait long, would be a card. You can do cards like this, the same measurement as well. You'll need a piece of granny apple green that is four and one eighth by three. And you'll also need a piece of granny apple green that is three and a fourth by two and a half. That's the one you're going to mount the calendar on. Okay, I'll put that aside for right now. And you'll also need a piece of white that is five and a quarter by four. Now, normally, and in the other calendars I'm going to show you, this piece would be a DSP, uh, five and a quarter by four. Okay, I'm going to take the five and a quarter by four and run it through my embossing cup machine and you will get this. Just put it down just like that and run it through your uh, machine and you'll, you'll get this. And we're going to adhere that down right here with our multi-purpose glue. And these calendars are fun for coworkers or people in your Bible study or Sunday school group. Um, each year I order mine from a place, my little mini, they're mini calendars. Uh, they're good to put on your desk, uh, at home or at work. And I order mine from a company called corporatepublishingcompany.com. Um, but there's also another, uh, tailoredexpressions.com I think is one. And uh, just look on, just Google it on um, your computer and you'll find something that you can order. Okay, now I've taken that die and I, I stamped the basket in um, Early Espresso. Okay, and then I took the blending pins and colored the real red and the granny apple green. I'm just going to lay this out right now to see where I want it. I took this sentiment 
from the Cheerful Basket, You Fill My Day with Happiness. And I stamped it in real red. And then die cut it out. And I think I want that right there. And now my calendar. These are the little mini calendars. And I get the ones that have the um, sticky on the back. So you just peel this off and put it on. Just like so. But you can also, um, you don't have to get that. They're the same price if you don't. Uh, in times and past, I have just put multi-purpose glue on the back. So we're going to just put this down right here. And again, I'm just laying this out to see how I want it. And I think I'm going to do it just like that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this down. Um, first of all, I'm not going to put that down just yet. I will put this down. And I'm not going to put the sentiment down just yet because I want to pop the sentiment up on dimensionals and I want to make the little stand that makes this calendar stand up. And again, this one's a little different than the way I usually make them, but I just thought this was a pretty little scene. So I decided to make this one. Okay, now to make the stand part of this i'm going to bring my paper trimmer in and again this is the four and an eight by three and on the three inch side we're going to put it in our trimmer and we're going to pull this down so you can see we're going to score it at one half of an inch the cutting blade out of the way. I'm going to score it at one half. I'm going to have a little one, I, a little measurement. I put it on the right side and then I'm going to turn it. You don't have to. You could score it right here, but it's easier the other way for me. And then we're going to put it on one and a half and then again at two and a half. And we will fold this this way, burnish it with our bone folder, and then you're going to fold the, these two ends back this way, and this one back this way. Okay. This will make a stand for you. All right, so we will open this up. And we're going to take this and put our, our multi-purpose glue on here on each one of the little short pieces. And the way I do it is I just kind of eyeball it right here. Press that down. Make sure you have it on as straight as you can. And then... Hold this down and put this down like this okay so that gives you your stand on the inside that makes your calendar stand up okay all right now we can go ahead and adhere this to the top part up here Just like that okay and when I make the um, calendars I usually just leave the December one on there but you don't have to you can take it off and you'll see that um, I like the calendar that have the Sundays and the holidays in red so that's why I ordered this particular kind you can get them that are just all black um, but I just leave that on for when I gift it now I'm going to take the sentiment and I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. And I'm going to use my sticky scissors and 
cut these in half to make my dimensionals go further. Take the take your pick tool. put these on do you notice my new background this week my husband was kind enough to make me another one of a different kind and I'm trying it out today it's a little bit slicker than the other one these are just flooring materials um, flooring planks and he glued them together for me same as my other one Okay, and I'm going to mount that just like that. All right, so there is your calendar. Quick, easy. Um, when I order the calendars, um, I order like 20 or 30 at a time. I think this year I actually ordered 40 because I knew my friend and I would be having a class and we'd want some to make, so we both just have extra. So isn't that cute to sit on your desk for the for all year long? They can think about you. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the ones that we've made for class. I've made this one for myself. If you got the paper pumpkin kit for this past month, this month, you got um, this beautiful DSP in it. And I wanted to use this for my personal use on my desk, so... This is the way I did. This is a five and a quarter by four. I just stamped a hello right on the DSP and I put my calendar up there. And this is a Blackberry Bliss that I used here. These are the ones that I have made for the class. I'm gonna give you some different ideas now. Um, this is using the teacup. And there's some of that black and white DSP. And when I, I typically made these in the past, I do always put the calendar down here. But as I showed you in the one I just made, I did it a little bit different. Use some of this, um, oh, something happiness DSP. And this is the butterfly DSP. There's another cute one. These are all the ones that I made for our class. And then this is just a plain and simple one here. And then my friend, Kathy, that's doing the class with me. These are the cards that she, or the calendars that she made. Aren't these all so cute? It's so easy to do this and come up with ideas. Um, it's not hard at all. And this one... And then this one. So I hope you guys like the project today. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Uh, I've checked my analytics on YouTube. And for the people that watch, only 87% of you guys subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of those that are subscribing and watching each week. It means more to me than you know. And if I could just get a few more people that are watching and haven't subscribed to subscribe, that would make me really happy. Um, you would definitely fill my day with happiness. And I think I mentioned last week my granddaughter has given me a challenge to reach 500 subscribers. So that's my goal that I'm trying to do. If you like what you see today and you want to order anything that I've used, um, this is my September host code. If you place an order that is under $150, please use this host code when you do place your order. If it's over $150, don't use that host code. Stampin' Up! will give you rewards. If it's $150, you'll get $15 in free rewards from Stampin' Up! But if it's under that amount, I'd appreciate it if you'd use that if you don't have a demonstrator that you currently deal with. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week.